So in the last set of videos, we looked at some laboratory experiments that showed how players don't always play rational or make rational decisions. In this video, we're going to explicitly look at one way on ga how game theory addresses that issue. <clears throat> and what we're going to talk about is the level K solution concept. The way that this works is that players do something called iterative belief formulation. So to do this, first we define a player that is level zero. So what does a level zero player do? It randomizes among all possible actions, we can say. So random actor. Okay, this player is considered non-strategic in that they're not forming beliefs, they're not optimizing anything, they're just some kind of random actor that chooses actions randomly. But what does a level one player now do? A level one player best responds, so he chooses the best action as if everybody else was level zero. Okay, so if a player is level one, it's assuming that everybody else is just a random actor and non-strategic and chooses the best action under that assumption. What does a level two player do? Level two best responds to a level one player. So what a level two player is doing is it's saying, okay, I think that everybody else thinks, the level one players, thinks that everybody else is acting randomly. So I'm going to choose my action subject to everybody else best responding to everybody else acting randomly. Let's do a level three just for fun. As you can imagine, a level three best responds to a level two player. So now the rabbit hole gets deeper. A level three player says, I think that everybody else is a level two player who thinks that everybody else is a level one player who best responds to a random, everybody else being a random actor. So this rabbit hole can go through, go down indefinitely, and we get this idea that a level K player best responds to a level K minus one player. So there's a couple of things that I want to point out about this here is there's another solution concept known as the cognitive hierarchy, which is very similar to level K. But instead of players just re best responding to the player one level below them, it best responds to a distribution of players below them. So for example, a level three player might say something like, well, I think half of the people are level two, 25% of the people are level one, and 25% of the other people are level zero. So that's known as cognitive hierarchy. The other thing I wanna point out about this is that in laboratory experiments, what do you think players normally are. And we're going to go into a little bit of this in the next video when we go through an example, but you would be hard pressed to find somebody that goes anywhere beyond level three. And most players lie somewhere between level one, or on average players are between level one and level three. So in the next video, we're going to actually apply the level K solution concept to what is known as a beauty contest game. Hopefully that example will really drill down the importance and the intuition behind a level K solution concept.